Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're taking a look today at the WeBoost EQO. And what this thing does is extends your wireless phone signal so you can use it in different parts of your house where it might currently not be working. So if you have a situation where your phone only works by a particular window in your home, uh, putting this thing in the window and running a wire over to this thing uh, might actually give you the ability to use your phone everywhere in your home, which might work out pretty well for you. Now I should mention in the interest of full disclosure that this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, I've had no direct communication with the WeBoost manufacturer or with Amazon. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Nobody is paying for this review and nobody is reviewing this video before it is posted. So let's get into the hardware here and see how this works. Now, right off the bat, this is a $350 kit. So this is not inexpensive. So if your phone doesn't work, certainly a lot of people might want to spend that much to get it working. But uh, you should know that over the last couple of months, uh, most of the major carriers here in the United States, and I'm sure in other parts of the world also have implemented a new standard called Wi-Fi calling, which allows you to use your cell phone on your Wi-Fi. And uh, most of the new smartphones support this. So you might want to check with your carrier first before you buy this to see if your phone and your service is compatible uh, because you can save yourself a lot of money and solve your problem that way. But if that's not an option for you or you have some older phone, uh, this will work. In fact, I was really impressed at how easy it was to set up and how uh, quick everything got to work. So there's two parts to this. You've got a booster component here. This is the booster portion. And uh, you plug this into the wall. You point it at the, uh, the, the window or wherever you're getting a good wireless signal. And what it'll do is amplify that signal and then uh, run it via a cable over to the antenna portion here. And you have to position these things a certain distance apart so they don't interfere with each other. Uh, and there's a, only, unfortunately, a 25-foot cable on this. And I don't think you can get a longer cable. There's certain uh, degrees of physics and regulation that come into play here. So uh, you really have to to kind of get the right spot for everything in order for this to work properly, unfortunately. But uh, when you're in the right set of circumstances, you got that cable extended, uh, your phone's going to work better than it does now. And in some cases, like where you'll see in a minute down in my example in the basement, I have an area of my home where nothing works and this made it work and work well. So I was very impressed with that and you will be too uh, when we get down there to do that. So that's pretty much it. You just plug this thing in, point it at the best possible signal you can get uh, and then wire up the antenna portion here and then you start talking and it's been uh, pretty impressive how uh, quick and easy it was to get working. It works with every major carrier. However, they do recommend that uh, you contact your carrier first for permission to use it. I would imagine there's some regulatory issue here in the United States around why you need to do that, but you're apparently supposed to call your uh, carrier first. I did not call my carrier. I just set it up and it worked uh, because this is really a kind of a, a passive device in that it's not connecting to the carrier at all. It's basically just repeating and amplifying signals. So it's really uh, kind of a, there's no internet connection configuration. There's no internet involved. You just basically plug it in, point it at the right uh, direction for your signal, and you're off and running. Uh, they do have some instructions for your smartphone, so you can measure with your phone where the best spot is to set this up. And then once you're ready to go, you are ready to go. So what we're going to do now is go down to my basement. I have a concrete bunker down there. It's a full concrete room with a uh, basically a concrete porch on top of it, along with some sheet metal. Nothing works in there at all. Uh, so we're going to set this up by the window, run a cable out to here, and then we're going to see if we can make a call from my concrete bunker. Let's take a look. All right, so I'm in my basement right now. This is the concrete bunker beneath my front porch. So above me is metal. Above that is concrete from the porch plus some stone on top of that. Uh, we got concrete on both sides of the wall here. And my phone is uh, sometimes getting a signal, but mostly it is dying out completely. So I'll have like one little bar here, and then I go to no service. And the further I get back, of course, the worse it gets. So what I'm going to do right now is get this antenna hooked up over here. I'm going to connect it to the uh, booster in the other room, uh, which is around the the corner here. So we've got about a 25 foot cable, which is good enough for what I'm doing here. I'm going to plug everything in and let's see what happens next. Now, surprisingly, the setup on this is very easy. So all I'm going to do here is just plug in power into the, uh, the booster unit here. And then I'm going to connect up this little antenna connector here. This goes back to that uh, antenna we have in the bunker right now. Uh, so we have enough cable length to get around the corner here to that. It's about 25 feet again, so you might be limited by that cable length. Now I have this booster uh, pointed at the window over there because this is probably the best spot I could get that's within uh, reach of this cable that can still get to the bunker. So that cable length is going to be a bit of an issue. Now if I go around to the front here, you'll see that I have a green light on it, and that means uh, it is able to pick up the cellular signals coming from uh, the towers that are nearby, and it is now pushing that uh, via the cable. So we'll go around the corner here. We're now back in the bunker 
Uh, we've got the camera set up here pretty close to the opening there so that we can reach the antenna over here. And I'm going to just uh, step around the camera here. We'll get back in front of it. All right, so now let's pick up our iPhone again and we're gonna call my friend Doug real quick. And I can tell you already I have signal here which I didn't have before. So I'll pull the phone back up here and we have an LTE signal actually. We've got about two bars. It sometimes goes a little bit higher. I'm just gonna walk a little bit further into the bunker here just to see uh, how this gets affected. And I do have a 3G tower nearby that I found this sometimes picks up. All right, so now I'm gonna call my friend Doug here and see how it comes out. Hey, can you hear me? I can hear you. Great, I'm echoing because I'm in my basement, but it sounds like the call went through and I'm in the middle of this bunker that never gets signal, so I guess this antenna works. <laughs> yeah, I think that you might be echoing because you're filming. That's yeah, it's, it's definitely a little echoey in here, so great, I'll call you back in a minute, thanks. So there you have it. It seems to work pretty well. And uh, again, we're in a concrete bunker here. We were able to get that cable snaked around the corner uh, and it worked out just fine. Uh, what I am gonna do too, while uh, before we wrap up here, is just conduct a quick speed test because I am picking up my LTE tower, uh, which is uh, the faster of the uh, many kinds of data that you can get on your phone right now. So we're gonna go back to my uh, phone here and just do a quick speed test and see what kind of LTE speeds we're able to push through this. So we'll run a uh, speed test from speedtest.net and let's see what we get on here. So we're gonna test the ping out, and now when we start going on the regular test, we're pulling about two, two and a half, three megabits per second, which isn't too bad, uh, and certainly better than I could get in here before, so that is a good thing. And we'll let that test finish up here, and we'll come back when the upload is done. All right, here goes the upload. Let's see what we get now for the upload speed. So not great on the uploads, about 0.25, a quarter of a megabit, but uh, if you want to be able to get an email or something in a spot where you couldn't before, uh, this isn't too bad. And actually the LTE service where I'm at to begin with is not so great, uh, so this could be a function of that. So uh, really this is going to give you the signal in places you couldn't get it before, which is really helpful. But if you have Wi-Fi calling available in your area, I would look to do that first and save yourself the $350, especially if your phone supports that because you won't have to have all this hardware set up. Uh, you could take your phone out, get on your local Wi-Fi and be ready to go for there. So uh, there are some alternatives to this, but if you have older phones or you have a lot of people that you want to try to get on with some phones that aren't supporting Wi-Fi right now, uh, this is probably the best solution provided you can put that booster in a spot where it can get signal and you have a spot to put this uh, that is within the length of the cable that they provide. So not too bad. Data works, 4G works, and you can get signal in places like this. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.